for me, motorsport sort of started out um, as home-built go-karts and just growing up, um, my dad and mum was involved in motorsport. Um, they raced go-karts and uh, off-road trucks and stuff like that. So it was always, always something in the family. Basically every time jumping in the car and just driving as hard as you can and things like driving at Pocket Kelly, um, 200 kilometres an hour into the first turn, inches from the car in front of you is pretty undescribable feelings. Those are the sorts of things that I, I love about it. I've got a, a sim at home, um, so basically a, a static cockpit with, um, with a seat. I've got a um, Thrustmaster steering wheel and pedals um, with handbrake and, and, uh, and a shifter, so it's got everything basically that replicates as closely as I can to, to a drift car, to my setup and my cars. As far as realism goes, it's as realistic as you could ever get without being in a real car. So the only things obviously I can't feel in a, in a sim is uh, the g-forces and, and how the car's reacting. So the theory behind everything as far as uh, transitioning, um, so chasing, left foot braking um, and timing of everything is exactly the same as, as real life. The thing is, when you go to a track day, you don't, you don't get enough laps. Like with our pro cars, you get two, maybe three laps to, to a set of tyres. So you don't get that lap after lap after lap practice. Whereas on sim racing, you can practice lap after lap after lap and um, practice your chases, switch over, do lead runs. And yeah, it's, it's been awesome for, for practice. And I think my uh, battles this season in D1 and Z um, really benefited from it. If you can teach somebody the basic physics of how to drift, then when they jump into a real life situation, they already understand that, how to keep the car sideways, how to get it sideways, and maintain a drift. So, yeah, I think it helps a lot in terms of transitioning across to doing it in real life.